What is up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again this week. We love reading all your comments and feedback in the comment section below. So please go ahead and give us a big thumbs up if you like story time videos like this one and leave us a comment. Without further ado, we are doing a story time today, and we're going to tell you about our Tinder dating fails. fails. If you're not familiar with Los Angeles, California, it is the douchebag capital of, of the, the world. world. There's a lot of self-absorbed people, a lot of guys that will leave your texts on red. So we are just going to share a couple of our fun stories dating in LA. Yeah. I think you should go first. This was a couple months ago. This was actually on Bumble. I met this guy. I'm not going to obviously say names. We went out on a date. We went to this trendy hip LA restaurant. He made me meet him there. What do you guys think of guys making you meet them there? Should they pick you up on the first date? I don't think so. I think on the first date, I want to meet you there because if it's not going good, I want to be able to dust. I want to be able to yeah. leave the premises. At, on your on own, my, yeah, yeah, on my ability. Anyways, continue with your stories. So it was this Mexican restaurant. Oh, gracias, that, madre. Yes, everything is freaking vegetarian. I like chicken. I like pork. Meat. Yeah, I don't want to go to a vegetarian Mexican place. So that was already, you Strike know, we one. started off on a weird foot. So I got there. He was good looking, but he was kind of short. He was my height. He, well, he's probably like six foot. That's the problem with dating apps, of course, is because you can't see them in person. They could yeah. lie about their height. I think it's important on a dating app to put your height because this guy kind of deceived me. He was cute, but he was short. And we're 5'8". We're tall girls, yeah. so we need a taller man. Right, so thank God I wasn't wearing heels because that would have been really embarrassing. So, All right, so long story it. short, we had a good dinner. I ended up ordering the tofu tacos, but when the bill got there, this is where it got weird. He took out a gift card and it was right after Christmas and he's like, oh, I'm using a gift card because my buddies, they want me to start dating more. So they got me a gift card and they said, use this on a date. I just feel like gift cards are kind of embarrassing to use on a first on date. On a first date. That's more down yeah. the line. Yeah. It just made him look kind of like cheap. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's like, what am I, a cheap date? Fellas. Number one to get, to win her heart. Don't take her to a vegetarian restaurant. <laughs> she likes meat. And two, don't be a gift card guy. Yeah, because it just left a bad taste in my mouth. My turn. I've got a couple good stories. Actually, I have two. Okay, all right. Take it away. This guy I met on The League. Not the one that I'm dating now. A guy from past. He seemed cool. Uh, a go-getter, entrepreneur. He had just sold a startup. So he, he was, had yeah, money. Good guy. He sold yeah. it for like a couple mil. We have very different tastes in men. I like nerds. That yeah. are successful. I'm all for looks. She goes for the douchebags. Yeah. So I gave this guy a chance for our first date. He invited me to the SV Awards. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's a good first date. Hell yeah. I'll that's take a good it. first date. Yeah. I'll take it. We're going to an award show, a nice award show at that. I got to look good. I always like going to fun events. So I'm all for it. And you know what's funny? She was actually there. Right. Because she went with someone else. So it was a great first date. He was pretty cute. I mean, he didn't really look as hot in person person but he was tall he had blonde curly hair right so looks were deceiving on the dating app then looks were just kind of deceiving we attend the award show we had a great time the drinks were flowing and we were mostly paying attention to the show we didn't really have to talk too much which yeah was great. but then afterwards we went out to one of the venues that I work at, Hyde. It's a fun little club. We had a table lined up, so it was perfect. I'm like, I'm getting to know him. He already took me to a nice award show. What are you laughing no, at? I, didn't, I know, what are you getting ready to say? <laughs> to sum up the story, this guy got obliterated <laughs> drunk. At one point, he couldn't even hold his head up. He was just like, that's embarrassing. So, Turn off. If you're in your 30s, like you should be able to handle your alcohol. Yeah, high. really. So it was just really embarrassing because I took him to the place that I work at and I had to ditch. I Irish goodbye. Oh, and we are the queens of Irish goodbyes. If you're Irish too. If you don't know what an Irish goodbye is, it's when you leave a venue without saying goodbye, goodbye. to the person. I never saw him again. We have this new obsession with this term called dusting. dusting. And what... The term to dust is to leave somewhere without saying anything, but you leave so fast. You that leave them in their dust. You, you create a swirl of dust because you have just taken off so fast. So that's dusting. It's not just Can leaving. Can we show them the gift? Look, it's just like the car just speeding away. Like you left them in the dust. 
next. All right, so one, we're, you're gonna do another story, then I'm gonna do another story. Okay. What's your next story? So my next story is this was a good perspective guy that turned out to be bad, and he dusted me so hard. I never get butt hurt, but I actually got butt hurt about this you guy. You did. So a little discretion. We both never use Tinder. I don't know why we're calling it Tinder fails. It's Bumble. I met this guy on Bumble. And he was a hockey player for the LA Kings. I've never dated an athlete. I've never dated a guy in sports. So I'm like, I love hockey. We made it off Bumble. We were texting. We yeah. We made it off of Bumble to get the yeah. number. We were wow. texting. We had plans to meet up. He had a really cute dog. And I love a guy that has dogs like that. Just sets you up like five points in my book. Mm -hmm. So I was really excited. Then like a couple of days later, after we were supposed to meet up, he never texted me. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to text him first. Whatever. Long story short, he never texted me back. He completely ghosted me ghosted then the next week i'm talking to one of my friends that i work with we we're talking about bumble and she was like oh my god one of my really good friends met this hockey player on bumble and i was what like what are the chances oh my god. it's not the same there's so many la kings players it was the same guy and he met up with her and they actually went on a date he didn't even give you a chance he didn't even give me a chance there's no positive light on this story i basically got ghosted guys out here though that's rude like what is your problem reply back Say something. Anyway, so this is my last story. We saved the best for last because every time I get asked the question, what's your most embarrassing moment? I say this. I just moved out to LA, looking to meet guys, you know, get to know the town a little bit. <laughs> and I met with this guy a couple blocks away at a bar. I'm really quick to make the judgment if I'm feeling someone or not. This guy in particular, I hate to be rude. I'm so sorry to all the balding guys out there, but he was balding. And I that's was just kind like, of rude. I know that's rude. Sorry. Love y'all. <laughs> To each their own. It just doesn't do it for you. It just okay. doesn't do it for you. He didn't do it for me. This guy starts getting all drunk and handsy with me. And I just wanted out of this situation. I didn't know what his intentions were or where he was thinking that the night was going to end. Right. I just knew that I had to get out of it. And so I'm looking down on my phone. It's towards the end of the night. It's already like one o'clock and bars closed out here around two. And my phone is dying. And I had to take an Uber home. Oh no. So your phone is so dying. So my phone's dying. And I needed the Uber app. Yes. Oh, no. And I needed the Uber app. That's there you Go. So I'm panicking and I excuse myself to the bathroom because I always excuse myself to the bathroom when I know I got an Irish goodbye. My phone is literally on 2%. If I don't leave here in an Uber right now, you're not gonna I'm make scared. it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to, have to rely on him to get me an Uber and then he's gonna try some creepy shit. So I pull up my Uber app, I'm in the bathroom, I hightail it out the back door. I run to the street corner. I'm calling my Uber. There's an Uber coming within a mile away. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Waiting on the corner, like pacing around. And my date comes out the front of the bar no. and sees me standing on the corner, looking at my phone. Waiting. Okay, wait, because you had left from the back and then he comes out the front and then see- oh. Right, because I was like taking too long in the bathroom. Obviously, this had been like five minutes. He saw that I was trying to leave and he goes, Oh, bye Liz, thanks for uh, saying fun goodbye. Night. <laughs> thanks for a fun night. This was a really funny dating app story, last one, that we encountered together. Remember last summer we went on a double date to a Dodgers game. And I, oh my God, yeah! This guy reached out to me, I was talking to him, he knew I had a twin, he's like, bring your sister, I have a single friend too, we're gonna go to a Dodgers game. We were so excited because we both never been to a Dodgers game, and it was a free game, so hell yeah, we are gonna go. We both go on this date, first of all, it was in the summer, and it was really, really hot. hot. Our makeup is sweating off. Melting off. We're not divas, but that day we were acting like it, and the guy is just... They weren't that cute. Basically, we were stuck with them the whole game. Yeah. And there was no chemistry. It was just weird. We, yeah, we were just trying to get away from them the whole time and like to take, go pictures. take pictures. Yeah. And eat hot dogs. Because who wants to eat a hot dog in front of a guy? Not only was I not having chemistry on my date, but she, but I wasn't. the friend, was a, even more of a dud. Yeah. They so, just had no personality. But they did have good seats. And he did have, yeah. he was a season ticket holder. And they didn't get the second date. But it was yeah. a good story because we got to go to our first Dodgers game. I so. know. Hey. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Just a reminder, Julia is still single. I am so still single. slide through her DMs if you are an eligible bachelor in LA and also I need to like you. So there's a whole other process that goes with that. But <laughs> for real, thank you guys for watching. This was such a fun video. We love doing story times and telling you about our weird lives. So if you also like stories like this, let us know again in the comments below. And if you have any weird questions for us, or if you want to leave your digits for Julia down below, <laughs> leave us a comment. Just kidding about that. We will see you guys right back here next week. Bye. Bye.